Welcome to our winter special, where we want to find out more about this picture. What is a Porsche 917 doing on the Nordschleife in the snow? And why are there so many black limousines in the background? It all started when 73-year-old German President Dr. Dr. Gustav Heinemann had a wish for his birthday. He wanted to be passenger in the fastest car in the world on the Nordschleife and be driven by a German driver. In February 1973, the state office called Willi Kausen, Porsche's test and development driver for the turbocharged Porsche 917 with more than 1000 horsepower. And at the same time, Kausen was a successful race driver on the Porsche 917 and very experienced on the Nordschleife. They arranged the drive for the 3rd of April 1973, the Tuesday after the 300 km race on the Nordschleife, that, by the way, Kausen won with the 917. But on Tuesday morning the pit lane was white, typical Nürburgring weather. Kausen and his mechanics prepared the car anyway and were waiting for the president. He arrived in a long convoy of black limousines and heavily armed security men. The president's security manager came to Kausen and asked if he would drive. Kausen said, of course, no problem. He said, but there's snow. The driver said, yeah, but only here and Brünnchen and maybe Hohe Acht, but that doesn't matter. So the security guy went away and the president's wife Hilda Heinemann came to Kausen and asked, Mr. Kausen, do you have winter tires? Yes, of course, we have winter tires on our 917. Next question was, do you have spikes? No, I'm afraid we don't have spikes today. The security manager came back and said, no, I cannot allow that, it's too dangerous. Kausen said, Look, the president is so excited to drive today and it's fine, I will be careful. The security guy still wasn't convinced and said, okay, but we will send our Opel Blitz truck first so they can see if the track is okay and also check no terrorists are waiting in the forest. So the 58 horsepower truck started with six policemen standing on the footsteps and on the bed with machine guns. They gave the truck 20 minutes to come back. When the truck didn't come back in time, President Heinemann came to Kausen and asked, when can we drive now? I don't know, the police truck is still somewhere on the track and they didn't come back yet. Kausen said to the security manager, we can drive now. They will be somewhere on the track or return while we drive, so it's fine. Okay, so they got ready and sat in the car. The president came in a suit with tie and black coat. He got the spare helmet of Kausen and sat on the passenger seat. But the passenger seat in the Porsche 917 was only there to satisfy the regulations and not to really accommodate another person. So the seat was as small and light as possible, was mounted higher than the driver's seat because the fire extinguisher was underneath and didn't have seat belts. Kausen told the president to hold tight on the car's cage and off they went. Because Heinemann was sitting a lot higher than the driver, he was more exposed to the wind and his head kept on banging the airbox behind him. All that didn't stop Kausen from drifting through some corners with the unbelted president next to him. When they arrived in Brünnchen, in a drift, there was snow, as expected, and they found the police truck in the ditch with the six policemen running around to find their machine guns again. Kausen stepped on the brake, the 917 spun 360 degree, pointed the right direction and they continued. He looked over to the president who happily showed him the thumbs up and off they went, back to the pits with more than 250 km per hour on Döttinger Höhe in the snow. When they arrived in the pits, President Heinemann asked Kausen, can we drive another lap? At that moment the security guy came and said, step out of the car Kausen, if you drive one more meter I will arrest you right here. My men are still not here. So Kausen replied, yeah, they're in the ditch in Brünnchen, you should send a tow truck there. So that was the story of an unbelted president in a Porsche 917 Turbo on the Nordschleife in the snow. I hope you liked this little story and see you at the next video.